T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am Veos, and I also have a cold, no thanks to it being really cold outside for the past couple of days. Uh, most of this video will be um, subtitles, and I'll narrate when I can. First of all, before we get started, I would like to apologize to everyone. My recent SSTO videos, I failed utterly to mention why I used the basic jet engine. It's because of the fact that I was testing or experimenting to see whether or not you could get into orbit with an SSTO with only basic engines. So in this little bit of video that I'm showing you now, I'm showing you how fuel efficient these little guys can be with turbojet engines. So if they can get into orbit with basic jet engines, imagine what they can do with turbojet engines. And I'm taking the Sparrow MK4, the one that I recently made a video of, and uh, putting a turbojet engine on it and doing a little maneuver to get it into orbit. And you will see that it saves quite a lot of fuel for such a small craft. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get these rockets to the moon. So the first rocket that we will launch will be the Luna base or the Luna outpost. And we're going to want Elgard because his stupidity is really high. And in KSP with a Kerbal that has high stupidity, he actually smiles a lot and is very happy. So we're going to have a happy little bunch of Kerbals up there. I always thought it was kind of weird that when your Kerbal is really courageous and his stupidity is really low, he's pretty much scared of everything. I never understood that.
ladies and gentlemen, there we are. Um, I'm going to make this part one, so I'm going to end it here. And hopefully I can get part two up and running shortly. Hopefully this weekend. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am Veos, signing off and getting some rest.